For the past seven years, I've worked a wide variety of non-vegan jobs. And when I say non-vegan jobs, I mean like food service jobs with basically no vegan options. And I've been the only vegan. And for the most part, I'd, I'd say it's a positive thing. It's a good thing that I'm a vegan at a place where I'm the only vegan and we're serving non-vegan stuff. And I'll explain why in this video. Uh, much, of, much of the time at these places, the non-vegan co-workers of mine will a ask me a bunch of questions and I see this as an opportunity. Uh, the most recent question that someone asked me today at work at my gas station job was, does it bother you to work with uh, animal products to be serving chicken sandwiches? And in short, I said, no, I've been working food service for like eight years and I'm used to it. But then I also answered, but if I start to think about it, yes. Uh, and then I, I left it there because usually I try to not unload my entire vegan agenda on someone <laughs> uh, on the first question that they ever ask me. Uh, I, and although my, my answer makes it seem like I'm, you know, not not one of them aggressive vegans, uh, but I would definitely say that my stance, I'm, I'm, I'm very aggressively vegan, although I try to be respectful about it. But basically, yes, it does bother me if I start, start to think about it. And uh, while, while I'm, I'm at work, some days, if I'm having a bad day or just in general, I look down and I see the animal products. For the most part, for at least half a second, I think about it. And then I'm like, oh, those are dead chickens and they were in horrible conditions and we don't have to be killing them by the billions every year. And I, I, and everybody here doesn't even know exactly what's going on and they don't know how horrible it is that these chicken sandwiches are here and what it actually meant to make them. And, um, you know, I think about that every single day. But whenever my coworkers ask me, does it bother you to work here? I used to just let it off and just say, yes, animal abuse destroys me on the inside and the fact that it's normalized in this world and uh, drives me crazy. But I found that's not really effective whenever talking to coworkers. And so I want to be more relatable and also not say things like that that will make them feel disrespected or attacked. Even though I do believe that, I, I do believe it's horrible. It makes me very sad. It makes me very angry at times. Uh, but in order for me to properly communicate to these coworkers, even though I'm probably not going to turn any of them vegan and I, I might educate them on some things or maybe open them up to it a little bit, but it's very unlikely that I will turn any of them vegan, no matter how I talk to them. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to try my best in talking to them in a way that doesn't shut it out or make it seem like all vegans are just crazy. Uh, so I answered with, I've been doing food service for eight years and I'm, I'm used to it. But if I think about it, it, it does bother me, but I try not to think about it so much. Um, although I'm not sure if I said that last part. And if I did, I hope I didn't say that because it would be good to let them know. I do try to think about it and they should think about it too. Uh, but yeah, so for throughout, throughout the year, sorry, puppy, I stepped on your Pa. Throughout the years, I've worked at a wide variety of places from Papa John's uh, to a university cooking only burgers and chicken. And I've called myself an undercover vegan, uh, especially at the university, because on just about all of my breaks, I would go out and be Z-Man, the vegan superhero, and play my music and then come back and cook the burgers. And then people w would be walking up and be like, wait. Aren't you the vegan superhero dude who was just singing out there and telling me not to be eating these burgers? And then I'd be like behind the counter and be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so I think that's very valuable to put yourself in that position. If you're a vegan trying to make a difference and, you know, you're worried about working at a Burger King or especially a college campus uh, where they cook animal products or really just anywhere where there's people that cook animal products and they probably have no access or like... Uh, they're not in touch with any vegans. They, n they never heard the actual science and they n never heard the arguments or even just the perspective, not the argument, but just the neutral, like not, not trying to convince you perspective of 
a ethical vegan who does it for the animals. The, uh, and whenever you put yourself in those positions at those jobs and, and you're honest and, and you be yourself, but, but you're not too like straightforward or disrespectful, you, you can change a lot of minds and make a lot of people think about it. And uh, you might even be able to change some of the menu items at your workplace. Whenever I worked for the university, although they did accommodate for the students more than most places, uh, so pretty much anybody with allergies or just about anything, they would accommodate for. But we, we got some more vegan options there whenever I recommended saying, hey, we have the ingredients. Why don't we just prepare more vegan options to give them more choice? And so any vegans out there who are questioning or maybe even thinking about going and working at a place where they mostly serve animal products, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to place yourself there, be an undercover vegan. And whenever the opportunity comes up, talk about it. Or, I mean, maybe you're more uh, extroverted than me and maybe you're more charismatic and able to just talk about it fluently all the time and not annoy people or make them hate you. But basically, what I'm saying is, go to those places. Be an undercover vegan. Try to get more vegan options. Be a positive influence. Be surrounded by people who are not vegan so you can put that positive influence to them. It, it works. It's very powerful. I plan on doing it in the future, but as an undercover vegan, things like where I just go into public as Zach, and then eventually I turn into Z-Man, and there's a whole flash mob of music. I don't know. Something like that. Something funny, something entertaining, uh, some video like that. Maybe I'll walk around for a day just as normal Zach, and then I'll come back out as Z-Man after I talk to everybody about veganism. I don't know. Uh, I'm ready to get out of these day jobs in general and do what I love for a living and be a singer-songwriter. But until then, I'll be an undercover vegan at a gas station, although I'm not undercover because everybody knows I'm vegan there except the customers. But you'll know what I mean. I I can talk to people people about it w whenever they ask me. Although I'm really not that talkative at work, I try to stay to myself. So and no judgment to anybody else who does the same because obviously I'm I'm doing that. But I could probably make a bigger impact if I were to open myself up more. But my impact is in music and performing and a whole other thing. Whatever. It, uh, blah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if anybody has any comments or thoughts about this or a story about them being an undercover vegan, leave it down below. Thanks for watching. For the animals! Woo!